Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The examples of adsorption. So one good example as I told is the silica gel. And if you see here, silica gel also is not in the lump. Silica gel also if you see it in the small small spherical balls. Why? Because again, this silica gel has a tendency to adsorb water molecules. Right, using the spherical ball, it can absorb more water molecules on its surface. The whole surface it can absorb water molecules. So it is generally the small balls. So silica gel is used for packing. Right. So what happens is air becomes dry in the presence of silica gel. Why? Because the silica gel, this uh, green one in this case is my water molecules. Right. So silica gel has a, huge, a very good tendency to absorb water molecules on its surface right so it is used generally for packing electronic gadgets so if you tend to buy a new good camera then you see that it will have a silica gel also in the box it may it may not have but sometimes if you buy some costly item then the whole packing you'll see some silica gel also because see silica gel will absorb this silica gel it absorbs water molecule right from the environment because environment will have moisture so in this box if you pack this box it will have some water molecules right now in this box if you put a silica gel all these water molecules which you have will be adsorbed and the box will become dry correct so that is the reason why we use silica gel it's very very important thing in our life the next is the charcoal so charcoal also adsorbs gas. So we'll do experiment actually. So charcoal generally absorbs gas. If we gas like oxygen, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, chlorine, ammonia. So any kind of gas it absorbs. To do experiment what we can do is we can take this gas in a container. So we have this gas. You can assume any gas. Let's assume this is a chlorine gas. And this is in a closed vessel right it has some pressure right because the gas will exert some pressure just note the pressure now what we do is we introduce this charcoal this is the charcoal now once you introduce the charcoal you will see that pressure decrease gradually pressure will decrease and it decrease gradually right just by introduction of charcoal the pressure is decreasing gradually. The question is why? See, now we know that the pressure, the whatever pressure you see, is nothing because of gas. Right? So, if you increase the concentration of gas, the pressure will increase. If you decrease the concentration of gas, the pressure is decreased. Right? So, here what we see is the pressure is decreasing. Since the pressure is decreasing, that clearly shows that the concentration of gas is decreasing. And what does it mean? It means that the gases molecules are getting adsorbed on the surface of this charcoal. Correct? It clearly says the surface of the charcoal, the gas molecules are getting adsorbed only on the surface. Right? And actually, again, same thing, this is activated charcoal. Please note, this is not activated charcoal molecule. This is activated charcoal piece itself. Right? Something like this. This is a bulk piece of activated charcoal. This activated charcoal, if you see, is adsorbing all gas molecules. Correct? On the surface. This is the surface. And actually, this charcoal is such a good adsorbent that this charcoal has been proposed to store hydrogen for fuel cell. So when you talk about the, in fact, when you talk about the fuel cell, we talk about the disadvantage of fuel cell is it's difficult to store hydrogen gas, right? So there, this hydrogen, this uh, charcoal is not considered as a potential storage for hydrogen gas and that can be used in fuel cells so we'll uh, maybe we can talk about this later why 
where this hydrogen gas is adsorbed in the charcoal and then when you heat this charcoal the hydrogen gas is released we'll talk about the, the process called uh, desorption where only desorption where you can uh, remove the gases or other particles adsorbed by a particular substance we'll talk about it later so that's a different scenario altogether where we see that this hydrogen gas is adsorbed by charcoal so and the the adsorption is so effective that the uh, scientists are looking for making you know, charcoal as a storage for hydrogen gas in the future right one more example i can give you for adsorption I'm just giving you more and more examples so that you, you understand this concept of adsorption very clearly where everything is adsorbed only on the surface right so one good example of uh, adsorption against organic dye and charcoal so you have this organic dye it's a blue in color right for example methylene blue you can take and this methylene blue again this is again activated charcoal piece not the activated charcoal molecule right now on this uh, active uh, methylene blue the moment you add charcoal you add charcoal and and you just observe for some time you see it turns very light it turns almost colorless the filtrate turned almost colorless right it was dark and then it become very light why because the molecules of the dye get adsorbed on the surface of this charcoal right the charcoal is a very good adsorbent it ad in this case it adsorbs the molecules of the dye correct same thing in the dye when you put chalk you see that the chalk the molecules of the dye get adsorbed on the chalk surface and that's why the chalk surface looks something like this right the the dye was adsorbed on the surface same thing here the charcoal is a better adsorbent the charcoal adsorbed all the molecules of the dye on the surface and the whole organic dye in this case the methylene blue became colorless A next good example of again adsorption is again this is my raw sugar raw sugar that you get from sugar cane it is a little brown in color right but the sugar which we eat is white in color right the sugar crystals how it happens this is aqueous solution of the raw sugar when it is passed through again my charcoal this charcoal will again adsorb all this color of the sugar and the sugar becomes white this is again we, we don't say pure sugar i'll say refined sugar right because this is more pure this is directly you get from the sugar cane this is a refined sugar which we eat and that doesn't have any color because that is being passed through charcoal or passed over charcoal actually because it is a uh, surface phenomena so passed over charcoal over this charcoal correct so with this what is the conclusion all these examples the conclusion is solid or liquid surface can hold gas or liquid molecules by virtue of adsorption whether it is an activated charcoal piece it will adsorb gas molecules right or it is a gold it will also adsorb or it is the chalk it adsorbs or it's our human face human skin that also adsorbs right so you see a lot of examples of adsorption so what we concluded at solid or liquid surface my solid or liquid surface it can actually hold it can hold what it can hold my gas or liquid molecules small molecules right on surface and this happens by virtue of adsorption correct a good picture to represent adsorption is you have activated charcoal piece and on this all these gas molecules are adsorbed okay thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials 
find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.